Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. And in today's video, I'm going to be using the new Simple Vintage Winter Woods from Simple Stories to create a non-winter layout. Um, this is a photo of Amelia back at the end of January this year, baking, which is one of her favorite pastimes at the moment. So I wanted to highlight that. So first of all, I'm coming in with two different shimmers. The first one is Pinko de Mayo, which I think goes really nicely with this collection and particularly with the sweatshirt that Amelia is wearing in the photo there. Um, I'm just using the packaging technique to smear it down and then adding a bit of water to um, move it about the page a little bit before I go in with some splatters. And um, when you use the shimmers paints, you stir them up and that puts plenty onto your brush while you're stirring the um, shimmers into the colour. So that's usually enough to complete the layout. <laughs> Once you've stirred up the pot, you can do everything with it. So just using my paper towel to dry that off because I'm too impatient to wait. And now I'm going to go in with a little bit of Shimmer's Precious Metal. And this is a gorgeous grey gold toned um, colour, which again works really fabulously with these papers. So just smearing it in um, selected places and you can see I'm creating a vertical stripe per usual. <laughs> this is definitely my favourite way of scrapping at the moment. So just smearing that around with the packaging and then going in with some splatters again. Using some water to water it down and um, being able to spread it about. So once again, mopping up the excess water with my paper towel so that I can carry on with the layout. Next, I'm bringing in this Vicky Bootin Heart Stencil from the Pinch Shop Print Shop collection and um, some texture paste, just the matte texture paste from Tim Holtz. I am sorry, by the way, if you can hear that, it's just started pouring with rain. So <laughs> it's um, a bit of noise in here. I hope it's not carrying through to the video. So I'm just concentrating this texture paste on the right hand side through those hearts and um, just to add a bit more dimension to the page. It's white on white, so it's very, very subtle, but it does add something and I'm really happy with the way that looks. Checking that there are enough hearts there and that I'm not going to cover them all up with the photo uh, before I start building the papers that I'm going to use as the map behind the photo. So as you saw, the photo has just been matted onto a very um, small piece of white cardstock, a very thin border around the edge, just to give it a little bit of definition. And first of all, um, I cut a strip from the Winter Blues paper, just that um, lovely taupe polka dot. And now I'm tearing a large chunk from the A Little Chilli paper. I love this pink and it's got a grid pattern on it. It's really pretty. And these two are going to be layered down the centre of the page. So I was just using the photo there to check how long I wanted this piece to be because I didn't want it the full 12 inches. So there we go. And that's how it'll sit with the photo on top, just like that. So very pleased with that so far. Now I'm coming in with one of the JD 3D print new wood words that James has been creating for the shop. They are available in the shop now um, in sets of two. And this word is the word favourite. And I'm going to stick it down the side of the photo and then use these little tile stickers that are in the sticker book to um, create the rest of the title, which is pastime. The title is favourite pastime. And these um, stickers work really nicely to do that. So now those are down, I'm going to work out exactly where the photo is going to go and start gluing things. Just positioning that wood, and making sure I'm still happy, making sure that I'm happy with the photo. First of all, I'm looking through this 12 by 12 sticker sheet to see if there's anything on here and straight away I see this frame, which will work lovely as a layering piece. And I want it in that top left hand corner and that's when I realise I really do need to glue things down now because I can't go in with stickers on top of papers that aren't glued down. So <laughs> just coming in with my wet glue and sticking these pieces down. And then I can carry on embellishing around the photo. So using my T-square ruler just to check that everything is straight. I'm notorious for not sticking things straight, so I do want to make sure that, at least at the beginning, I'm straight. <laughs> so layering that pin piece on top and then the photo can go on top of that. I do toy with the idea of putting the photo on foam, but decide to just keep it flat this time because the title does add quite a bit of dimension to that. So now gluing that 
wood piece down. They're beautiful, these titles. They're just under three millimetres um, tall. So perfect for using with flare and other dimensional pieces. And they don't add too much dimension, but um, they really create an impact on the page. So that looks beautiful down the side of that photo there. So now I'm going to keep looking to see what else I can add around this photo. First of all, a quick look through the 12 by 12. Don't see anything there, so onto the chipboard sheet. And there's a lovely blue heart there that straight away I want to use at the bottom. And then I'm going to come in with one of the Winterwood Sentiments flare that we've created to coordinate with this collection. And that flare says always, and it just works really nicely with this photo. And now looking for a word to stick onto that heart. And I'm going to take it off the edge. So I just need to add a little bit of foam tape underneath that word perfect, just so that it doesn't flop down. So adding the glue to the heart and then grabbing some foam to add to that side. And they nestle really nicely together. I've not finished with that cluster yet, but um, I'll move away from that for now. Oh, well, I will once I've added this heart. I only did this layout yesterday and I still can't remember what I've done. Next, I'm coming in with um, this stripey paper, which is the reverse of Winter Blues, the uh, taupe dot, and creating a little tag to add at the bottom here. And this will hold my journaling. So just creating the tag edges and then I'll use my hole punch to punch a hole and my hole reinforcer punch to add some colour around that hole. And that's a really quick and easy way of creating another embellishment for your page without actually having to use embellishments, just using your scrap papers, really. So just gluing that whole reinforcer down and that corner. <laughs> I noticed it was a bit loose. And now coming in some of with, with some of my wax thread um, in pink just to add to that tag. And I'm going to staple that down with my tiny attacher. Just a couple of small staples just to hold it in place. And then I'll just have a bit of fiddle with the thread to make sure that it's in the position that I'm happy with. And that's that bit done. So now going back to see what else I can add to this layout and turning my attention to the top. Straight away I find this ticket that says hello in that gorgeous dusky pink. So I add that and I want to keep the vertical look so it goes um, vertically. And then I find this little tab that's in pink and it just says right now. So stick that to the top of the photo as well. Keep looking through to see what else I can find. I love these label stickers that Simple Stories put in all their sticker books. So I'm just going to use half of one of the circles to add to that little cluster at the bottom underneath the title. And then I'll use one of the pink labels on top of that just to extend it out slightly to the side. And that's where I can put my date as well. So just seeing if there's anything else before I abandon this. And this circle says today, and that's another one that fits really nicely. So that just goes at the top there. So back to the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Um, straight away I go for this blue heart. And then I find this title that says Wonderful Life. It extends the layout too much to the left, putting it up there. So I decide to add it vertically at the bottom. And it really adds to that little cluster down there. I like that a lot. And then one of these, they're almost like paint chip tickets. And it says making memories. And I love that sage green. It's bringing that sage green in that we've got in the title pastime as well. So I add that to the top there. 
and now I'm going to add my journaling and I'm just writing handwriting on a piece of white paper which I will cut into strips and stick across that tag that's at the bottom of the page. And the journaling simply reads, you just love to bake, cookies are the current favourite. And that's all I need to say really, because at that period at that time Amelia was really enjoying baking cookies from her book. So just working out exactly where to position these on the tag before I go in with my wet glue and stick it down. This one was a little bit bigger than the others, so just trimming a tiny bit off the edge and then they can be adhered down to that tag. So as I say, this is a great way of using a collection that's themed on a non-themed or a different theme. So this is a, definitely a winter collection, but if you're careful with your selections, there are plenty of pieces in the collection that you can use for different photos. So just adding some foam tape to that top tab that says right now, I felt like it was flopping off the photo a little bit. I think with all the texture underneath and the texture paste, um, it was just a little bit higher than the rest of the layout. So just adding some foam there and finally adding my date stamp to the left hand side. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Um, do add any comments you have in the comments box below and I'll get back to you and I'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.